All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. And the big question at the moment, right before Halloween is, does this blade frighten you? Of course not. It's a knife. It cuts things. But we're going to talk about it. It is different. Some people, if you were to pull this out in public, would find that extremely scary. Uh, but we're going to call this, uh, does this blade frighten you? The Scythe XL from Shielden. Very aggressive cutter. Now, you guys know I've already reviewed uh, the Scythe, uh, the original Scythe. We'll compare the two, uh, and we'll do some cutting, and we'll have some fun, and this will probably be a shorter video. Now, this is designed uh, by the guys at DC Blades. There's their logo. Uh, that is Old Squirrel Knives and Justin from uh, Tier 1 Gear. Um, the coolest thing about this knife is you got a nice grind here and you can get in behind that and middle finger flick this guy out. That is cool. Now, uh, you do have a flipper tab with good jimping on it. This is the, not only is this an XL, but it is the premium version. So you have a nice titanium backspacer, very contoured titanium scales. And by the way, lots of jimping on that backspacer. A titanium clip with a ball, which I know some people don't like. Um, it comes in and out of my pocket just fine. No issues. You do have a, a frame lock with your frame lock cutouts, which are nice and smoothed out. And a um, uh, lock bar insert there. Steel lock bar insert. There's your steel she, steelden, shielden logo. Now, cool thing here is screw here, screw in the clip. Screw here, screw at the end. You do have a reversible clip. That's it. <coughs> Very simple design overall. Um, and I like it. Now, you do have the reverse tucks here with the black blade and the gray uh, finish on the titanium. It is in S35VN. <coughs> wow, which is really cool. Guys, I'm going to get a swig of water real quick, and, and you can just look at the knife. Wow, I've been outside all day working a, a soccer game, so that's what happens. But this is a hawk bill, um, is the style of blade. It does have a very pokey tip. Um, so, you know, hawk bills really come from agricultural use. They were used for pruning, uh, for picking fruit, um, you know, things like that. Um, and they still work very well for that. I do know people do consider this to be a self-defense uh, kind of knife. Uh, I would not use it in that role. Now, you can grip it in a reverse grip, and it feels real nice like that. Uh, get off my slurpy bro uh, kind of grip there. Um, but, you know, for me, like I said, kind of draw cuts uh, for pruning and that kinds of th kind of thing. Oh, uh, yeah, this would work. Now, does it cut is the question, and the answer is absolutely, because you have uh, a nice, um, uh, you know, kind of belly, reverse belly here that works really well at cutting. I mean, it really does, and of course, uh, penetration is absolutely no issue here. Uh, it, it will cut, and it is not a problem at all. Now, this would also be good at cutting rope. Loop your rope around there, pull a little bit, and uh, as a matter of fact, let's see if I can get to my cordage here. And we'll just cut a couple of pieces. Uh, boy, I'm really ready for this video, aren't I? Uh, it has been a long week, and it's all I can do to even get ready to do a video, let alone um, actually do the video. But you can see here, definitely going to be easy peasy cutter because, again, you have that belly to pull against. So what's happening is I'm looping it in here and then I'm pulling against the belly and you can see these cuts are very clean and very nice. No problem uh, whatsoever with that cut. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I don't know. I mean, I think it could be very useful in certain situations. Now, uh, on the frightening issue, I'm sure it would scare some people. If you were to just pull this out in the office to open up a ream of paper or open a box or, uh, you know, cut something, I think people would probably be like, whoa, bro, what's that? Um, but it does come all the way to the end. It is dead centered. Um, very cool. When we are locked up, we are at about... 25%, no lock rock, no blade play. You do have a very nice sharpening choil that will work uh, really well. Uh, Grip-wise, you do have a four-finger grip. Uh, good 
very heavy jimping here and kind of your flipper tab comes around and acts as a guard uh so that works as well now how does it compare to the small one uh and the small one's g10 of course and i think 14c da -dee -doo, 154 uh so you can see it is way quite a bit bigger uh, than the original scythe now these are available on amazon and i will leave a link uh the original is 64.99 this guy uh and this guy is 164.99 in s35 contour titanium beautiful finish really well done it's on bearings uh very smooth i mean come on how cool is that really really cool indeed um i like it so Again, uh, really interesting knife. I'm curious to hear uh, what you all think of this one. Uh, definitely uh, one that interests me. Um, you know, from a review standpoint, I'm not sure it would be one uh, that I would regularly carry. Now, you can see it's quite a bit smaller than the Ontario Rat 1 and about the same length as the Rat 2. I cannot find specs on Amazon, so we'll just do this. It is two and three quarters on the cutting edge, and the blade itself is right at three inches. The overall length is seven. Uh, the grip length is three and a half, and the overall handle is four inches, okay? Uh, very, very cool indeed. Um, and if you guys want, real quick, I'll grab a weight. Um, because, again, every time I go to Amazon, I cannot find a dag on specs. I hate that. Um, it is 3.3 ounces, which for, for that size of a knife, again, seven inches, that is pretty dang good if you ask me. Uh, I like that a lot. And again, very smooth, very well done. Uh, and yeah, fidgety too. Um, so I'm curious to hear what you all think. It does come uh, with kind of a, a, a belt uh, clip here with the button to go around your belt and then uh, hook and loop or Velcro uh, to go right there. Shield and logo there. And again, so you have two options on the Scythe, the Scythe or the Scythe XL. Oh, by the way, uh, again, you do have a titanium clip. This one, the uh, Scythe XL, I mean, excuse me, the original Scythe has uh, the um, wire clip. So really, really cool. I'm curious to know uh, what you guys think, again, I just put the clip back in and out of the pocket, and it, it works really, really well. So there you go, guys, the Shield and Scythe and the Scythe XL designed by uh, our friends at DC Blade. So uh, let me know what you think down below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Thank you for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.